I'm bringing this quick video because I want to show you guys how I treat it. I haven't had a fish that had an egg in a while, but got some cardinals for the 80 gallon from my local fish store. They had it. I didn't notice until later that night. It took me about a day or two to uh, to actually um, go and get. I think it took me a day or two. Oh, let's just say there. So it took me. So I'll go get a treatment. And I want to show you guys the way I've been treating it um, when I get it. I learned this a while ago. So I'll show you guys. Okay. So what I do. I already, already treated them. What I do, I always get, I never do it on my fish tanks, never, or I never have no filtration. What I do, I get a container where I could put water, put a little bit amount of water as long as the fish are comfortable in there. I throw in a, a um, bubbler just to give them oxygen. And what I do, I <coughs> just already should know. From the look at this, I throw in the solution, the medicine for the fish. Right here it says three, no, this says about 10 drops per gallon. I think that's a little bit less than, than a gallon, but it should it should be fine. And it's a little bit more, so I mean, it'll get high or whatever you want to call it. Won't, it, it won't affect the fish, guys. It doesn't affect them. And it, there has been cases where it kills off the parasite within a um, within a couple minutes 30 to an hour um, I've already started doing this last night um, and let me tell you guys only if I had pictures but one of my cardinals had a bunch of white spots and after I took him out from that little bath of solution he only had one or two um, probably today will be the last day I'll treat them they should be fine um, I just put in one a rummy nose. I seen just one dot, <clears throat> so he probably got it from the cardinals. So he should be good. So I put him in here for 30 minutes. Then I dump the water and I put them back in their tank. And then I'll just do it again within a couple hours after they eat. Um, that way you don't have to do a lot of water change. You don't have to throw away 20, 30, 40, depending what size your gallon is, your tank is, how many gallons your tank is. You don't have to waste that much water. Do this, and I'm telling you guys, it'll work. Cause I, had, I used to have a bitcher, a dinosaurus bitcher that he had the red eye pop, and um, and that thing was popping out, and it was really red and ugly. So I did the same thing, but I didn't get the the egg medicine. Of course, I got this um natural medicine for any type of fungus, parasites, and I don't think it took a day, but in the first treatment, it was already clearing up and it was going back to normal. I think it took me about three, three days, max three days, and he went back to normal, and I'm thankful that thing works so all. You guys should try it. Just give it a try, and trust me in this. Just know how, don't put them in there for a long time. Just put them in there at least 30 minutes and take them out, and don't do it again. Wait until, like three hours because like I said they'll be high and they'll be weak because of the medicine <clears throat> so it'll work trust me on this I've been keeping fish tanks not for that long but approximately five years I'm 24 now I was about 19 years old when I really started getting into the fish hobby so yeah I uh, hope you guys like this little tip. Now the fish remain looking good. Missing a lot of tanks. It's the fact that it's getting it's winter. It's getting cold. I don't want my electric bill to be that high. I got rid of my 100 gallon discus tank. Which I always talk about in my videos. But never showed it. But I kept the discus. And he is in there. And it's hiding. Pretty soon I'll get a pond for him. But yeah. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, subscribe button. And I'm out.